everyone, Zero Jade here with the XBLA Fan Channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Doom and Destiny. I'm still fairly early on. I think I've only played this about an hour and I'm already at the third chapter, which makes me feel like the game's going really quickly. But I want to show you a bit early so I'm not spoiling anything in game or any of the jokes, which there have been a lot of references in sort of RPG cliche, uh, D Dungeon and Dragons cliche in this uh, kind of game. Uh, of course, when it started, uh, you were these four guys showing up to play a game of D&D at the Dungeon Master's house. Before that, there's a cutscene about an evil guy opening a portal uh, requiring the blood of a virgin, but the girl they were sacrificing is like, ah, ha, 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 hey, uh, I went to a party last night and stuff happened. The machine explodes, and then uh, you go into a door and you get warped here uh, and essentially told that you're the heroes, not by, de like, not by like destiny or anything like that who is actually the name of the emperor of this entire world god thing, but by chance and by luck. So by definition of you actually surviving the teleportation, you're a hero anyways. And of course, the uh, unnamed evil, which I'll get into a little bit early, uh, uh, later, uh, you have to go in, take him out before he can do anything terrible. It's an interesting plot, if so, like or a little confusing at the beginning, but it boils down to, hey, you are the heroes, go fight this bad guy. So, uh, of course, you get warped here and you're kind of like, hey, we're from modern day. This is a magical fantasy world. <gasps> but as you go along, of course, you level up, you earn powers and all that kind of stuff. The normal, like, hey, food, weapons, gear, and miscellaneous. But uh, as you can see, food, there is items that are essentially just modern day stuff. I'm going to use this cola and get back uh, the my magical points because I just got to a new area. Uh, speaking of this new area, this is where the chapter started, and I actually, when I came in, also that's a, sounds like a fart, by the way, when you go back out of menus, when I got here, Link, essentially a character who was Link, came to the top and said, oh, sorry, wrong princess, walked past us, said yo, and walked away. There has also been a Welcome to Die reference already, uh, there has been a Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy, uh, 7 and A team reference as an Easter egg in the same room and I got paid to shut up and stop asking questions about all of them. Uh, this is after they uh, kind of made like this big mansion look really fancy and nice, and I paid to get to the front of the line, and it turned out to be a museum. So there was that kind of joke as well. But uh, as you can see, I have my normal like status, tactics, all that kind of stuff. The tactics is essentially whoever's at the uh, front of the row, Johnny here is a warrior, so everyone's going to get more strength and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see, uh, Mike here is my pirate. He's a paladin, uh, bard kind of person. Ninja, and then uh, Magus, mage, all that kind of stuff. Uh, as for my powers, and this is, I'm gonna skip quickly here. Uh, as you leveled up, you get more power points. So you can only equip certain spells at a certain time. It happens at like level 15, and so on and so on and so on. But this is still relatively early and I'm actually enjoying the hell out of that game. Uh, I haven't said it before. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying the references and the jokes are pretty, really good, actually. But I have my power attacks. They take, like, certain, like, stuff. Like, hey, it takes uh, HP. Uh, it takes um, magic points and all that. So, of course, I have my healer here. And these other ones, I'm assuming, are passive but still require PP points. Francis is my mage. And uh, Nagel is my... Uh, uh, Francis is my... Uh, like, I guess, rogue ninja. Nigel is my uh, mage. And, of course, he has magic missile, magic, all that kind of stuff. So, at the beginning of the game, they actually discussed... They were trying to... Like, while they're having this big conversation about saving the world and all that kind of stuff, uh, uh, everyone except for Mike was discussing, trying to figure out this guy, the unnamed guy's name. And he finally said Dark Idius, which, if you can't tell, is an anagram for Dark Sidious. Emperor Palpatine. So I thought that was pretty funny, which is uh, something I really enjoyed. So you say that, and it electrically shocks a random person. And actually, while you were in the throne room, he said it multiple times, and it shocked a random guard and all that kind of stuff. And of course, you have your stats and uh, normal stuff like that and the equipment. So we're going to keep going. We're trying to rescue a princess, and I'm going to show you some of the combat. So of course, there's random battles and all that kind of stuff. There we go. All right, so at the top, you see those little pips. Stuff costs amounts of those to cast and all that other kind of fun stuff. So we're going to fight. Francis is going to sneak attack. As you can see, it's going to put him at the back, which is fine. And when I target someone, it shows how much damage it's actually going to do. So let's get rid of this uh, Orcubus, which I think is just a mage orc. And I'm going to use Dark Idius. 
Uh, so when uh, Mike here heals someone, and I'll do it here, that's a South Park uh, Spaghetti Monster reference. I actually just recently... Uh, also, they say, they, 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 if you can see, he screamed orc power and it's spelled orc and orc here, which I think is pretty funny. I'm surprised they haven't made a magic joke with spelling magic, like M-A-G, like, like the 20 different ways you can spell it. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens later on. Uh, there have been not too many terrible puns. So this is what happens when you level up. You actually get three points. So I'm going to be putting it more into might for him. And then I'm going to do a little bit of dexterity so he can move just a little bit faster. Ooh, I don't want to put anything into magic. Uh, my bard, uh, resistance. They actually made a joke about this earlier that uh, prevents status effects and helps criticals. And everyone says, like, they essentially said that this stat sucks because no one cares about critical damage or critical chance, which I found pretty funny. So let's do a little more for his uh, magic. Uh, dexterity, faux show. I'm gonna do a little bit more might for you. And of course, uh, I'm the winning. Whatever. Ooh, I got a thorn staff, so maybe I can equip that to him. And of course, there's these little side quests. Uh, Hocus Pocus is using magic in battle. Uh, Exorism, Orcism is killing orcs in battle. Uh, there was one for dead or alive, which is killing undead creatures. So let's go to my inventory. And uh, a lot of the times, like, there's only certain people who can use certain weapons. So his strength will go up, which doesn't really matter unless I'm trying to conserve magic points. So let's keep moving. Oh my. This is a original Zelda reference. Yep. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Why don't you buy shit? But this is what the most of the game has been, and I think I'm old enough to be in just the perfect time period to appreciate a lot of these. Oh, these rocks I can push. No, I cannot push these rocks. Oh. So what do we have? What different orc spelling do we have? This orky bus. Okay, whatever. So let's sneak attack him. That was a crit. Really happy about that. Magic missile. And then it's literally a missile that just comes off screen, which I really think is funny. We'll go a bit longer. And of course I can guard and set how many turns I want to guard. So if like someone's like, like if my character's super fast, but I know he's uh, someone's like wheeling up for a big attack, I can kind of try to prevent it. Uh, when I first got summoned in, uh, they made reference to, weren't there supposed to be five, like the mighty uh, rangers of power? And they're like, no. Uh, but four is good, like the uh, uh, like ninja ninjas of something. I don't exactly remember it, but it was literally a a teenage mutant ninja turtle reference and a mighty morphin power ranger uh, reference. You can hit the right trigger to um, see like uh, what's happening about it. If you hold left trigger, it's got a very fun uh, quick battle system where I don't actually have to do anything. So just beating up fodder enemies is always fun. I already have a wizard spell book. Oh, there's rupees. Cool. So it's ten dollars. Ah, I don't really have to worry about these guys. Uh, one of the things that the king said is, "Tell everyone in the in in the land to let them come in and take whatever they want, but they still gotta pay for their gear and equipment." So. It totally writes off the, uh, hey, people not really caring if you dash into their home and just steal everything, which, again, is pretty funny. <laughs> oh, so I have two PP. Uh, so... So this is, like, I went to a bar, and this guy who is getting drunk essentially just says, hey... I'm gonna teach you how to throw a Molotov cocktail or smooth criminal, you get my evasion up. Godspeed, which will get my speed up. I'm gonna do Molotov cocktail because uh, why not? All right, cool, let's keep moving. I am, but uh, for how simple it is, I am very much enjoying this game. That is a, uh... damn, Braveheart reference. And the 
the front really... There it is. I do miss, uh, uh, I don't know how many people have played it, uh, Earthbound, that uh, uh, all the battles were on the overworld, and you could see them, and after a while, if you were too fat, uh, too good for those battles, it'll essentially, like, flash the battle screen, it'll go away, and it'll just say, hey, guess what, you won, we know you're really strong. Pardon me while I make these people eat jelly beans. I don't know what that aspirin does, but I think it's great that it's in here. Oh, here we go. Yo, buy something. Yep, that's another one. Usable, never on none. Uh, okay. I hope that... Uh, they told me about the mystical magical candle that uh, lights up the dark. Uh, while in the shop I bought it in, and I don't know if this was like part of the joke, but there were candles all over the room, which I found hilarious. I forgot to check their names. That plant just punched me. Omnivore's plant. So I wonder if, uh... Yeah, okay, cool. So type advantage, I guess. I really like that uh, Braveheart reference. Those plants had aspirin for some reason. Let's not ask questions, let's just accept it. And of course, the, the world's tile-based. Rupees. So I can just fast forward through this because I don't really need to worry about it too much. Uh oh. Okay. It's only two of them are asleep, but that's fine. I like, I really enjoy that you can actually just kind of fly through these things. I'm also not taking too much damage. Who are you? You a video game reference too? Fuck me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Piss off. Also, uh, a lot of these times when you've seen the save icon, it's also kind of like, hey, there might be a battle coming up, so we might have a boss battle here in a second. All right, cool. Let's go. But yeah, that's what a lot of this has been, is a lot of reference humor and stuff like that. Get rid of this gray wolf. I don't know why the wolves talk. It, the gray wolf should totally have said Metal Gear. As you can see, uh, so see how the guy with the uh, Johnny in the front there, he's actually getting more da attack damage. I mean, he's getting more health, I believe, or more damage, one of them, from where his spot is. And the other two who are in the middle aren't really getting any kind of bonuses. Hey there. Look. Oh, there you go. Secret. I hope it's nothing. Really? Is that just... Who can, who can use the grappling hook, I wonder? Oh, okay. Uh, a lot of them... It's been a lot of stuff leaning towards Zelda references, mostly. Oh, hello. Also, that orc has a... Uh, is her name... Also, the, the female... Uh, I'm guessing it's a female because she has a bone in her hair. Stereotype, I'm sorry. Uh, has a, uh, is called an orc. I haven't gotten any AOE spells yet. Lightning Orc. Yeah. I really love that it's essentially just Dark Sidious. I really hope that it is Dark Sidious and I'm not misremembering my uh, Star Wars names. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he, uh, okay. That's okay, I guess. So I actually have a lot of healing potato chips. And I got pizza, we'll be fine. What does the sign say? Signs have been very informative. <laughs> oh, orcs up here a lot. So we'll save. Uh, also, you put the uh, push the uh, bumpers, you actually go like right to your like equipment and stuff, which is fun. 
so we'll get a little bit longer and uh we'll wrap it up there it is Okay, this one might be a little more interesting and then I might wrap it up after this. So who can we eliminate quickly? Here it is, Porcubus. All right, so get rid of this Molotov. Who is the most health? You. So that's gonna do uh, burning damage, which is really nice. But I'm enjoying the hell out of this game. Stupid references and all. All right, Dark Idius. I feel smart because I figured that one out really fast. Do I have anything I can just? Cures a few negative statuses. Bacchus. Uh, it's a uh, god, of course. I play Smite. I know. Vaguely no gods. Also, I like that he uh, runs up to pe hit someone with the uh, the grappling hook. He has got nothing left, so let's finish him off. I also like that it is a hundred. Like, it seems fairly random. But uh, this is Doom and Destiny. I'm enjoying it. It's a very simple RPG. Uh, it seems like it may have come from a phone. All right, we're, we're, we're at the end of this. We don't really need to. But uh, this is something I might actually, if it's on phone, I might actually go and buy. Uh, keep pumping that health. Uh, since you are, he is our healer after all. Battle axe, oh boy. Those rupees. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Is that a, it's a poop hole? Oh, is this one stinky too? Blech. I guess this key will work. Who knows? Uh, but this is Doom and Destiny. I'm going to end it here before we go. Let's go down the stairs in line. Oh, we got to read the sign and then we can end it. By force. Oh, Triforce. There we go. Okay. The by force. So that means it's two pieces. Anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the x -Play Fan Channel. This was Doom and Destiny. Uh, I love this game because of the reference, it, reference humor of uh, a lot of stuff. And it's not badly done in the reference department. I think it's funny at times. Other ones are like, uh, so far actually there hasn't been any that have fallen flat. Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, little, it's dangerous to go alone, buy something. But uh, I am Zero JD, this is the X-Play Fans channel. Please check out our other videos. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, tell everyone about the videos and uh, leave a comment. Thank you and have a nice day.